Hello everyone, how are you? I am Gabriele, welcome to my channel. I play Tenontosaurus today. Tenontosaurus is a very versatile animal, a very versatile dinosaur. Dinosaur, uh, basically you have a lot of agility. You can turn uh, whichever you wish, whichever direction you wish very fast. You don't have a long, a big turning radius. Your turning radius is small it's uh, it's got a tiny turning radius i can run and turn on myself something that a carnotaurus cannot do for example now i am looking for a pack or better said a herd of tenontes would be better otherwise uh stegosaurus would do but generally speaking you should know where i am i am uh southeast by the log in between delta river and delta swamp this is Delta River. I need to be aware of uh, Denosuquus in here because if I sniff the air, for example, I sniff the air now, I should be able to sniff some uh, sand over there, some blood sand. Now, that is not a good sign. It means that this river has some dangerous crocodile or gators in it. Uh, Denosuquus, that is. Okay. Um, my mission is not staying here. Okay, and also my my danger is uh, two dead crocs and uh, three carnes. Three carnes are already too ma too many for my life, so I better run away from them. This is not a no go uh, for me. I'm not going there. I will uh, go somewhere else. I am sure they will follow me, because I mean, uh, who wouldn't? They are three carnos after all. A uh, fully adult Carno is able to deal about 350 Newton damage, so 350 points of damage to your uh, Tenontosaurus, which has about 2000 HP. Now, a Carnotaurus, an adult Carno, has about uh, 2000 HP as much as a Tenontosaurus. Why has the Tenontosaurus? It takes around 1 hour and 45 minutes to grow to 100%, to go from hatchling to full adult stage, a Carnotaurus, it takes 2 hours and 15 minutes. So, is the Carnotaurus strong in a 1 versus 1 fight versus a Tenontosaurus? I don't think so. Now, Tenontosaurus, uh, this, the Carnotaurus deals about uh, 350 Newton damage with a bite. That's true. And uh, to be honest, I can inflict only 110 points of damage with my bite, but my strong suit is my 4 plus, which deals 200 Newton damage, 200 points of damage, plus bleeding and tail slam. The tail slam deals around uh, 400 Newton damage. Now correct me here if this data has changed. You also have the kick, that's true. The kick also, it deals 400 Newton damage and you can kick things in the air. Both of them, they will incapacitate the uh, predator because you are supposed to be a prey you are a herbivore after all but you can play as a predator as well if you are defending your, ter your territory i mean you are a herbivore the grass is greener in this point hence you want to uh, graze in this point you want to defend this territory it doesn't matter the cost now i am kind of surprised none of those carnes has come here that that's that's pretty strange okay you know what i'm gonna check on them again and then running back there. Why running back there, you ask? Because there is a log. There is only one way in and one way out, kinda. If I perch myself on uh, that uh, log, I am kind of safe, mm, you might say, right? Oh, there is a, a big rock there. I'm missing some fight. I'm missing some fight. All right, it doesn't matter if I die. It doesn't matter. This is not a good, uh, a good choice for me to stand by this spot. Okay. Uh, I don't know if that croc is friendly to me, but I want to be friendly to that croc. So, if that croc is going to be friendly to me, I'm going to be attacking those carners. I don't think those carners are are mm, a match versus me. I'm going to go after this one, inflict bleeding. Okay. Okay, my position has been stated against these carners. Against these carners. These carners will not approach water. Because they... Okay. Okay, I have definitely hit that... Uh, I need to be careful of this croc though. I mean, uh, you are never too safe around a croc. That's why I choose to stay around this spot, just in case, just in case, you never know. This spot has very shallow water, so any croc approaching this exact spot 
uh, will be able to uh, be spotted. I mean, look at that huge croc over there. I can see that one over there, right over there. I should be wallowing, you ask. Why aren't you wallowing, Gabriele? Well, wallowing, it takes time. So I'd rather stand still and wait for this bleeding to pass by. Uh, if I wallow and uh, that takes some time, uh, Carnotaurus might attack me or even that dino behind me. But that is uh, relaxing. Okay, this might be a good a good point, uh, a good time for me to wallow in mud and to patch this bleeding. Now, that Dinosuchus must have kind of understood that I am friendly, kinda. Um, well, you have seen already the power of Atenotosaurus. I am at 100% after 1 hour and 45 minutes. Uh, if you have a good position in the aisle, you can defend yourself pretty well. Those three carnes have decided not to attack me Mm, because it was not a good idea. Uh, I have inflicted a lot of damage on that Carno before and that Carno must have beat me only on my tail That's why I didn't inflict any that much damage Okay, I wanna take my position of friendliness towards that Terra. Hello Terra. I'm friendly and that's a nice piece of chunk But I'm not gonna be friendly to Carnos No friendly to Carnos Okay, I will wait for the Carno to attack me. Uh, Atenotosaurus is best played in a defensive position It means uh, you wait for your predator to attack you and afterwards and just afterwards you go uh, after them once you let's say you press the tail slam you can uh, attack them with the kick with the tail slam again uh, but uh, uh, or with four claws if you manage and inflict bleeding on the carno uh, carno only has bite is pretty straightforward but it is very powerful so never underestimate no, never underestimate a carno player when you're playing tenontosaurus is like a 60% chance you will win with a tenonto versus a carnotaurus 100% both I'd rather say oh you are friendly now aren't you before you weren't looking that friendly all right I'm not friendly because you attacked me, your group, your pack of three, so I'm not gonna be friendly to you. The grass is greener in this spot, so be it. Now that Carnotaurus is friendly for two reasons. One it is alone, the other two must have left or I don't know. I don't know, they might be ambushing me somewhere. They are thinking, we can ambush that Tenonto. No way I'm gonna be ambushed. Well, last famous words you might say. Okay. Um I need to fear that croc though. I need, I mean, that big croc is big enough for me to drag me in water and drown me. It's like an insta kill if I get drowned. Okay, well, grass is greener, but enough of that. That Carnotaurus can have that body. Um, I'm not after, uh, I'm not gonna bodyguard that piece of uh, flesh or that body. That's, that's enough. My, today I wanted to find a, a herd of Tenontosauruses, but I see it's pretty hard, it's pretty hard. Plenty of people are playing Denosuchus, almost everyone is playing Denosuchus actually, and a couple of others are playing Carnos. So Carnos and Denos uh, are the most played at the moment, I think. Hello, you big croc. Hello, I, I see you there, I mean, uh, I see you there. You are big, you are big enough to uh, drown me, I guess. You are heavy enough. I'm friendly to you. Well, uh, thank you all so much for watching. I really hope you liked this episode. Thank you again. I'm afraid of that big croc. Consider subscribing my channel. If you like it, uh, please share it with anyone that might be interested in it. And have a great day. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.